Welcome, welcome, welcome! Yo, yo, yo! To the You're, You're Not, Not Serious, Serious right? right? Podcast. Podcast. With me, Jacob. And me, Chris. You know, I just want to start this off by saying thank y'all so much for all the support on the first episode. We worked really hard and it all came together really fast. And, you know, I really appreciate you guys listening and take the time. Like, just thinking that you guys are taking time out of your day to listen to us talk about random stuff and random stories just means a lot to me. Yeah. And by the way, that episode came out earlier than expected. I think it came out like Saturday night, right? For some reason, like we pressed, published on Tuesday. It was supposed to come out on Tuesday. But apparently it just went out sat like midnight, midnight, Saturday night. And yeah, it did not go as planned. But hey, thank you guys. We really do appreciate you guys. Really do appreciate y'all. And um, also for the video listeners or maybe TikTok listeners, because I know we've been getting some traction on TikTok with some oh, of yeah. the clips we've been posting. <laughs> Especially your little story yep. about walking in crazy, on man. Joe. Joe. But uh, yeah, if y'all are listening, I honestly recommend y'all at least listening to one of our podcasts on YouTube because we've got a sick new setup right now. We're trying something new, and if y'all like it, let us know. Send us an Instagram DM or a YouTube comment. But we even have our socials link on like a TV in the background. For all the auto listeners, and, and I've even got this cool alien neon dude from my homie Nate Deuces. for Christmas. And this guy looks dope as heck, and I so really dope. appreciate it if y'all were to come check it out on YouTube and leave a comment saying, hey, alien dude. So, yeah, anyway, I've got a really funny story today about me in fifth grade. Jacob in fifth grade was a whole <laughs> nother beast. Oof, it was like, crazy. If you compare me to fifth grade Jacob, you'd be like... This is not the same person. He looks totally different. It was, it's bad. Not even looks though. Like my whole attitude, my personality, girls, everything oh, was different back in the day. Emo and phase. For, for another episode, I'm going to give you all a little hint at another episode. In the future, we're going to talk about some dances, Ooh. some, some really cool stuff. And I hope y'all stay tuned for that. And just so y'all know. This podcast comes out every Tuesday, every Tuesday. at 12 a.m. As long as this one comes out right. If this, <laughs> Let's hope. If this one Let's doesn't hope. come out right, then we're just going to have to just tell y'all I don't even know. Like, yeah, I, I don't know why. I, we, we pressed the right date, but it still came out midnight. I don't understand. Yeah, and we're sorry about that because yeah, we kind of lied to y'all. We didn't mean to we lie to lie. you about that. But this should come out Tuesday, the day after Christmas, the yes. 26th. If it doesn't... You all can flame us everywhere. Yeah, like, just spam us ahead. with hate because we deserve it. Like, we've tried really hard. And, but yeah, so me in fifth grade, I lived in an apartment complex, okay? <clears throat> and I had a really good friend at the par an apartment complex. Me and Chris actually met in fifth grade, but it was kind of later yeah. down the road. But really uh, yeah, out that much. I had this friend, Lester, that lived about four buildings down from me. Uh -huh. um, and this dude, Lester was obsessed with GTA, which is why I gave him that name. Because I don't know if he wants his name to be out here on the internet. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Lester was obsessed with GTA. I'm talking campaign codes, all the cheat codes. Online, Online he Woo! was pretty good. At. Online is crazy. I mean, I think he had flying cars. I'm not, I don't play GTA that much, but this dude was like, I thought he was hacking. Like nonstop? But, yeah, dude, nonstop playing that game. And he was really cool, but there was one issue with Lester. He honestly liked Lester. Honestly, and their similarity, he had very bad anger issues. Oh. If y'all ever seen the, mo the movie Inside Out, if y'all have seen the <laughs> red dude, imagine that. Like, this dude over any little thing would get so angry. But the thing about his angriness was he would get super strength and super, like, basically superpowers. That man needs to go to therapy. Yeah, I'm thinking she, so. And like, he might have There's gone. no way he hasn't been there know. yet. There's no way. But this dude, Lester, um, he was a very interesting person. He was a really good friend. He'd always let me come over and hang out. But on this day, being a procrastinator, I was like, I'm going to test Lester's limits. Bad friend, AKA. Like, what? Why are you testing your bro's limits, dude? So I go to his house and I'm like, all right, knock on the door. Lester's mom answers the door. Lester! Jacob's here! So... He comes and he and he walks up and I'm like, yo, would you like to go to the park with me today, Lester? Like we can hang out, we can maybe. 
swing or something, you know, just like what yeah. fifth graders do. Little kids do. And he yeah. was like, of course, man, I, I would love to do that. So he gets rest, dressed and ready and uh, we head up to the park. So you had this like all planned out or how are you going to like make him mad? Or what are you going to do? Like 50% of the way. It uh -huh. was really just, I was like, I'm going to make Lester mad. I'm going to make him angry. I'm going to upset him. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to upset him. Okay. So me and Lester are walking up. So the park's on a hill and it's got a pavilion next to him and stuff. But we're walking up to this hill at the park and I'm just flaming Lester. I'm flaming You're him. You're just I'm, flaming him like I'm, that. So Lester was in Boy Scouts and I'll tell you what, I was flaming this man. But he, that's the thing. He had a little bit of ego thinking like, I'm in Boy Scouts. I can, I can, I can start a fire. Boy and Scouts stuff. is crazy. So... Lester was obsessed with Boy, Boy Scouts. He'd be selling cookies on Sundays at Kroger's. He was... Those cookies was, hitting, though. He was all in. He was a dope dude, though. You know, I'm yeah. not going to lie. He, everyone has their hobbies. I was in the emo music at that time. I was hardcore emo. I mean, if you looked at me back in the day, I had a skateboard. I was... Yeah. I was a poser. Oh, scared dude, I had a emo. vlog channel. I had a vlog channel. Every... The whole nine yards, that was me. Yeah. But anyway, we're walking up top, top of this hill. I'm flaming him. <laughs> Your shoes suck. Your shirt's bad. Your haircut's weird. I don't know. All of that stuff. Being a horrible person, but it's okay because I didn't actually mean it. It was yeah. all for good fun. In the end, he didn't know that. So Lester, you can just tell. He's he was like holding it in. He's huffing and puffing. You can oh. tell like that, that like his nose is flaring. Uh -huh. He is uh his eyes are like his like pupils are like like what is it like when they're not di undilating or whatever? Undilating? Yeah, they're yeah, like getting so. smaller, and you could just tell this man was getting he is clinched. His fists were starting to get Dude, He's about to turn around and pop you. Yeah, so he was getting angry and he was just kind of like shrugging it off because I'm his friend. And then I said the thing I shouldn't have said. And I said, Boy Scouts suck and you're a big old nerd. Oh! And yeah, dude. And now thinking about it, that really doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it's, it, that's so bad. I don't know. And anyone nowadays would be like, that, okay. All right, bro. Like, no one cares. You make music, your music sucks. <laughs> like, yeah. literally. Okay, I mean. <laughs> oh, my. And this, this is when it, so like, we're at the park at this time, and Lester takes not kind of this at all. He starts chasing me around the park. I'm talking full speed, Hussein Bolt, like, he is angry. He is, like, you're running away from him? Yeah, I'm running. He is, he is. Are you, like, scared out of your mind? Yes. And I'm like, I'm regretting this decision to do this. So, I, so there's a gate, like, a fence around all the park, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to lock him out. Thinking about it now, he could, he could have just jumped over, literally unlocked it. But I I run out. He's kind of far behind me. I'm a fast dude. He was kind of yeah. husky, so I kind of had the advantage to haul, to haul in Link Key. What are you doing there, bud? <laughs> you had to burp. I'm sorry. <laughs> this Taco Bell deal we had earlier is really, it's really messing me up right now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> he just <laughs> wasn't even that good either, though. No, no really hit trash. Taco Bell. But man, dude, some days it's just not that good. The beans get me every time, <laughs> buddy. Every time. That's a story for another day. We've had All many right. Taco Bell stories, but yeah. So he's chasing me. Lester's chasing me around the park, and I I run out, lock him out with the gate. Like the gate is like a lock that comes down, so it's really easy to just pop it up and you're yeah. out. But Lester stops at the gate, looks down at the lock, and is like, just just give me a very intense look. He proceeds to take his hand, bend the bend like the gate lock open. He bends metal. How how old are you guys right now? How old are you guys? Like eleven. And 12? he's bending a lock. I'm telling you, dude. This dude is like Hulk. Yo, there's no way. I'm messing with. The, I'm running. I'm gone. There's this no dude's way. Dude's looking at me, bending the lock and pushing the door open, and he's just standing there like freaking Michael what's your, Myers. What's your or thoughts at that time, right there? I was like, okay. I may have just dropped a deuce in my pants, dude. This dude scared me, man. But that was your fault, though, man. I know, but it's like, I didn't think it would go this far. Jesus. But at that moment, you could see, like, the demon leave his soul because he just jumps back into his normal self, normal Lester, and he's like, man, dude, I didn't think I could do that. <laughs> well, our TV's having issues. Give me one second. Uno momento. All right, All right. we're back. So this dude's looking at me, like Michael Myers staring at me, and is like, I don't think I could do that. I'm like, I didn't know you could do that either, dude. We're young. So he just like snapped back to himself? Yeah, dude, like the demon what, what left triggered his that? body. I think like, I think his anger came out in short burst of like a minute. 
Okay. Kind of like an ability. And like, like an adrenaline game. rush, kind of? Honestly, that's part of what it is. Yeah. So he got like, you know, super mad, drilling, and then bend the lock. Yep. And he just... And, it, and he, like, oh, the crap. demon left his body. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah. And uh, I didn't explain to him my whole plan. And he kind of laughed about it and was like, don't do that again. I'll hurt you next time. Like, oh, dude was like not playing threats. around. Oh, and I was kind of scared. That actually kind of scared me when he was like, don't do that again. Because... That's I didn't, I didn't understand. I didn't know what I was getting myself into at this time. But, dude, like, this man, Lester, was really off a of perk that day. I'm not going to lie. I think he was even – I think he was on a bad day, too. I think, like, he failed a test that day or something, too. So, like, he was building that adrenaline up or whatever. Demon was inside his body that oh. day. But, uh, yeah, I think it released some stress. Did you guys of, uh, end up still being friends? Like, still oh, chilled? Yeah. For yeah. years, for years. For years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. We're not friends anymore. I hope he's doing all right. hope yeah. you're doing all right, Lester. Like, Lester. If you're watching this, I doubt it. You probably <laughs> forgot about me or whatever, but yeah, I hope you I hope you like the podcast, but yeah. Sorry sorry for flaming you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, There's in the no end, way. in the end, you realize that you could do some superhuman things and maybe you'll be a firefighter one day and save yep. lives with that ability. Put your ability Hulk to good use. Level threat. Okay. I think you had a story. I do have a story. Really funny and just funny overall story. So one day, we got out of school early. I think it's like 11, 30, 12, we got out of school. How long ago was this? Uh, junior year, like mid-year. So last year? Yeah, last year. Like Feb, like uh, October? Yeah. And okay. this, this man was supposed to be a ride, me and me. my boy Nate. I was supposed to be the driver, but I stayed home that day stayed because home. I did not want to go to school. So we had to resort to Joey. And if you guys know who Joey is... Jesus, man. Or Joe. You know, or he Joey. goes by Joe or Joe, Joe yeah, or Joey or... So I hit him up, right? Yo, bro, can you take me and my boy Nate home? Yeah, bro, we got you. Okay, and Nate, I want to start off by saying Nate is fine with us yeah. talking about on this podcast. He's one of our homies, and he's going to be a guest one of these days, maybe. He's dope. Fifth, sixth, seventh episode. As soon as I can get another interface that has more mic inputs, we're going to have guests on this podcast every episode. Oh, yeah. Or every other episode, and we're going to have some insane stories from other people. Remember, just... DM us. But, but back to Chris's on. story, Nate is one of our best friends, and he was with Chris trying to go home. Yeah. So, continuing that, text him, yo, bro, can you take me at home? Yeah. So, we get in the car, and we all decided we're really hungry because we don't eat that trash school food. I don't know how you eat that, bro. That stuff looks like, okay, I only eat the pizza on Fridays. Even the pizza is bad. The pizza is really good. I haven't been in the lunchroom since freshman year. Okay, but the milk, the chocolate milk and cartons is pretty. It's yeah, true, yeah, true. Moo, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't go wrong with true right. Moo. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, we all decided we we're really hungry. I all decided to go get Taco Bell, right? Keep in mind, it is pouring down rain. Like, I mean, it is going crazy. So we drive there. We're like, at this point, we're like three or four minutes away, right? We get to the stoplight. We're, we're, he's going like, what, 40, 45, 50. Joe is? Joe is. 55. So he's, he's speeding on a rainy day. Yeah. And uh, I'm just like chilling. Nate's in the back, right? He, we're, we're casually going 45, 50. We're going. We're coming up to the stoplight. There's this car right in front of us. He, Noah's still... Joey, Joey's still going um, pretty fast. And I'm like, bro, are, are you going to stop? He was like, I'm trying. I'm trying. He is stepping on the brake. I don't know if he was capping or not, but they, I guess they like did not work. And we just... Boom, we're into this nice car. Dude. What type of car was it? I don't know. I think it was a Yukon. It was a black Yukon. And I think he he just bought that too. So Joe couldn't couldn't stop like No, so he was like stepping on the brakes. And he said, I dude, like, it's not stopping, it's not stopping. Like stomping on it? Yeah, he like he is boom boom. And it just would not stop. So then we ran into the guy really hard. And dude, he gets out of the car. He is some old midget size. Whoa, man. Dude, he was screaming at Noah. Noah was like screaming. He was crashing. And I'm not going to hold you. Me and Nate, we looked at each other and we just started dying. <laughs> we were laughing. We we're like, oh, <laughs> there's no way. And meanwhile, Joey is like, oh my God, dude, I just ruined my car. His car, his front end. Whew, it was bad. Um, I maybe in the video, I'll pop up. Maybe there's a picture up. of it. Probably it's not. Bad. Maybe in Probably the future. Not. Maybe. If this blows up on TikTok, I might throw a little photo yeah. in the comments. Who knows? Anyways, me and him just sitting there dying. 
and he is freaking out. Old man, look like look like the old man looks like he's about to one v three us. I got scared. Me and Nate just stayed in the car, sat in there laughing, and he was he was like, "Where's your dude?" He forced us. He was like, "He's like, where's your license registration? You got to give it to me now." And we had like, did he, you actually he, have to do that though? By huh? law, no, we didn't. Look it up? Like the cop finally showed up. Like she she showed up. Was like, "No, you don't have to do that." But he asked me for my driver's license. I'm like, "Yo." I, I didn't say anything. I was scared. I just didn't say anything. I didn't give it to him at all. But no, was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, we gave his driver's license and registration. Did he have insurance at the time? Yeah, he just yeah he just got insurance. So and like it was last like, week? it's raining outside too. So we're outside. I my whole like all my clothes are wet. I had to wait for my dad to pick me up. It, and your knees get really bruised. Yes, I banged my knee in the front, dude. It's my right knee. It hurts so bad. It was bad. And then I think my boy Nate. Banged up. He was really banged up in the knees too. It was bad. Yeah, he like flew forward yeah, a little bit. A little that seatbelt didn't do much for that him. Team, I'm not that gonna lie. Did not do, it was bad. It was like a beater car too. That was <laughs> that car had some good memories though. We yeah. have even more some stories really with that car. I mean, that's memories. the same car that we were shooting firecrackers. Yeah, in. same car by the way. And he finally crashed it last day. And dude, I just called my dad. He picked me up and just left. So did you get any food? Were you hungry? Did you ever get no, food? No, I didn't get food actually. No. You didn't get food? No, I was did, mad. Did you go home I would, and yes, sleep? Yes, I was so hungry. It was, It made me mad. You didn't make anything at home like a no, peanut butter jelly No, I was so mad because I wanted a Taco Bell. Taco Bell is so good, by the way. Uh, sometimes. Actually, we just had it. But yeah, tonight it's not was good. not it. But. but I mean, yeah, that's a, that's about it. A little, little short story, though. Yeah, the car was totaled, right? It, it was bad, yeah. Did it, he get any money from no. that? No, we did not. So he only had liability. Actually, I think you got probably like a G. That's it. A G for my old listeners is a thousand dollars. Yeah, sorry, a thousand dollars. A G is a thousand dollars. Yeah, I think that's all. And then I think his mom used that money to buy her own car. But you so, know, Joe, Joe, Joey, Joey. Um, he was out of a car for a while. Yeah, and he was our main man ride. Main, he was our driver, designated driver. He was our dedicated, designated driver. Yep. The DDD, yeah. if you will. And we never hung out for a while after that. No. Because he and lost we his... we don't to this day. Actually, at that time, I think a couple weeks before that, I actually just got in the car. Yep. So I was now the designated driver of myself. Yeah. With limitations. Yeah. Since, you know, I was 16. Yeah. Just got a license. And me and Chris actually have a really funny story oh, about wow. me on my first night of driving. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to talk about this now? Oh, um, yeah. So, first day. So first day of me first driving, day. I'm hyped. We're blasting music, doing everything you shouldn't on the first day of having yeah. your car. Yeah. But we were doing it in safe ways. I was checking on my blind spots. Chris was on me about doing everything yeah. right. Use your turn signal. Yeah. Back Dude, in I'm right. scared for my life. He pulled in my driveway. I'm like, oh, Lord. Here we okay, go. Okay, it wasn't that bad, though. I, I was, was kind of scared, though. I was just a little heavy on the throttle, a little jerky and with my steering. Yeah, all right. all right. So me and Chris are like, we're going to get McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. We're super hungry. And then we get McDonald's. Mm -hmm. And at this McDonald's, there's an intersection. This intersection is a one-way intersection because of the way the road, there's like a, a, a median and it blocks it to only be like right-hand traffic. Uh -huh. So when you come out, you can only make a right. It's a right-hand only intersection. Yeah. And because I'm slightly distracted by my insanely good McDonald's, Jesus. I make a left. She's making a left. And <sighs> luckily there's no cars. There's like two cars. The light was green. Yeah. For the opposing drivers. And by the grace of God, I somehow managed to drive straight yep. across. So there was a light at the intersection. Uh -huh. Like just slight. So if you were to make a left, not supposed to, there was an intersection right there, maybe, maybe 150 feet away. Yeah. So. I bust through the intersection. A car has to stop because I'm basically running a red light at that point. Yeah. I have to drive straight. 
Keep in mind, he's going the wrong way. I'm driving on oncoming traffic. Yeah. And these guys look at me like, what is this idiot doing yep. in a Nissan First Rogue? Day. Um, so I'm driving, I'm driving straight. I'm I'm guessing. I'm looking at Chris, he's like, oh, I guess we're dying. So I'm like, oh, I guess we're gonna <laughs> die here. So I'm just sitting there. I don't think I even yeah, I was just sitting there. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just accepting death at this point. And Thanks to my quick thinking and massively big brain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm driving straight and I can make a right onto the right yeah. lane. So I'm currently driving the right lane now. I bust a right. I mean, he's going fast. Like he is going. He was so scared. He was like, ah, boom, quick right. I'm bust a right. I'm in the right lane now. I'm in the correct lane uh -huh. with the correct flow of traffic. I then turn into a bank and I sit in the parking <laughs> lot and I'm like, I look at Chris. I'm like... Oh my God. Like I was so calm about it. Like he turned left oncoming traffic. I'm like, Hey Jacob, you know, you're going the wrong way, right? He's like, Oh, and then that's when he was just bolting. And at the parking lot, we just sat there and just, I was so disappointed by the way. The, the music was off. We yeah, turned the music we were, off immediately. Was, we had to take a deep breath. It was bad. Yeah. We sat there for probably about 15 minutes. Yeah. And I got the paranoia. The cops are coming. The yeah. cops are coming. Thank there was no cops in, in the area at all. I think if there, if there was more cars, we would have been effed up. We would have been bad. It would have been toast. Yeah. Thank there sure. was only like two cars, one on your left, one on your right, and you just bust a right. Or was it three? I think it was two. They kind of had to stop. Yeah, because they the the they one were stopped. stopped. They all yeah. they, they, they all, all stopped. stopped. Thankfully, I think Thank the light God. just changed, so there was a little time of leeway. Yeah. But man, 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 that could have been a horrible day yeah. for both of us. It, super bad, man. But we've also got another story with another, both of us. Another good story. And this story begins when we both had girlfriends. When, I would like to say a lovely time, but it really wasn't a lovely time. Yeah. I, yeah, it wasn't. I was dating Jane. And I was dating uh, Stacy. So me and Chris decided, let's go on a double date. Like, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah. And we decided to go to the bowling alley, you know, casual place for double dates, you know, arcade, bowling, everything. Fun. Laser tag. I mean, who, who, why wouldn't that be a bad idea? You know? Right. That, that just sounds like a, like, that a, sounds a, like a plan a for success. success. Yeah. Turns out it wasn't. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. It went south yeah. and sour real, real quick. Uh-huh. Um, we basically realized, so I was actually, so Jane had to pick me up at the time because yeah. this is kind of, was this like junior year? Yeah. And this, and she, or no, 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 sophomore. It was year. sophomore. Yeah. Sophomore. Yes. And at that point, that double date, she was the designated driver. Jane was my ride or die designated driver. She yeah. was driving me everywhere. I was her passenger princess okay uh -huh. <laughs> dude we love those passenger princess dude like yeah that. and she had a nice chevy volt it was a nice car it was a nice car she probably paid 15 bucks a week in gas because yeah. it was like half electric half yeah. gas dude imagine i, I need that It'll be yeah great. i need that in my life i mean i great. spend so much money on gas because i have a v6 yep. now it's it sucks it really Stores does your gas but she comes to pick me up and oh my god Jane is not a good driver. I should mention this. Oof. Jane is not a good driver. Yeah. It, so it she doesn't even know where the bowling alley is. So I'm giving her directions. I Keep in mind, I'm pretty good at directions. Mm -hmm. Can you vouch for me, Chris? Yeah, he's actually pretty good. I, I suck. I, yeah, Chris is <laughs> terrible I'm bad with directions. I'm bad. I, I wait till the last minute. It, it, it's bad. Yeah. But so I'm giving her directions. I'm doing a good job. And then it comes to the big turn where you turn on with the red bowling alleys. Yeah. And she just like tunes out my my direction voice. <laughs> I'm like, turn right, turn right. <laughs> hey, are you gonna turn right? Jesus, Jane. And then next thing you know, she just doesn't turn right. Yeah. And she looks at me like, huh? I'm like, hello. At this point, my dad dropped me off, and I was waiting for them. I'm like, hey, dude, where you at, dude? We're, like, she missed a turn. She missed like two or three turns. She missed two or three turns. It's yeah. Jane is ruining yeah. the Come double on, data already. It, we're already late. We're already like 15 minutes late now. Yeah. I mean, okay, I will give her some leeway because she did live 30 minutes away, but still, that if you're late, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of give a very controversial opinion right now. If you're late, it's your fault. Like if you know uh, if you know you have to be somewhere, okay. If you give know, yourself enough time. Yeah, you're right. But like what if you're like busy that day and you have to 
Like what? You, give yourself yeah, time. Right. You have to give, I mean, if you're, you're late, right. if you're consistently late, which Jane was, yeah, that's on you. There's no getting out of that. If you wait till the last minute to take a shower and stuff, some people are just bad with time, though. <laughs> Come on, that's man. just laziness. Yeah, though. you're right. You're right. Like seriously. So this is a P T S A P oh P S A. Yeah. Stop being lazy and be on time, guys. It's not that hard. Guys oh, yeah. and gals, be on time. Be on time. I'm saying that as if I'm not late to early. work every day. I like I'm, being early. I'm late to work every day. But guess what? I don't what? care. Why are you talking about <laughs> <that>? You're late. <laughs> like what? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm only late to work because I'm allowed I am to be 30 late minutes to work. work. I'm 30 minutes early to work every day. Okay, but I'm going to I'm going to blast Chris for a minute here. This man All right, here we go. This man always has an excuse when we have to do something important. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. This man, so we were supposed to film this episode this past Tuesday. Today's Friday. <laughs> was your family actually sick? Oh, my brother was. Yes. Okay. My brother had like, like, I think he had a COVID for a minute. Okay, but before that, we were supposed to film this episode on what day? It wasn't Tuesday. We we're supposed to film it the Wednesday. day before. Wednesday. After I got off work, but I was so tired. Dude, I was so tired, man. This man made an excuse and didn't Because now we have our buddy Nate over here. He's <laughs> sleeping on my bed. <laughs> <laughs> because it, we have to film this podcast because yeah. this man, Chris, likes to push things off but sometimes. You said, you said it's fine. You're like, yeah, we can do it. Yeah. He, he, by the way, we were supposed to do it tomorrow, but I had to leave early, but I'm, well, I have to leave. Oh, once again, accommodating our right. Chris. Okay, but I have to at this point. This is not an excuse. But now, what time is it right now? It's probably like one o'clock. We're filming this. So, yeah. We are dedicated, y'all. We are dedicated. We are trying to push this video out. I'm trying to get more dedicated. I'm sorry. Because we've got to edit this. We've got to make clips. We've got to... Get it sent out to the our Buzzsprout people. Yep, we yep. love them over there. Buzzsprout has been insanely helpful. Their their podcast like website is so intuitive. Like I cannot thank them enough. They yep. even like emailed me personally, like, hey guys, like you need help setting anything up? And I was yep. like, No, like I really appreciate y'all for doing everything. Like, Great guys down there. Appreciate and it's guys. not even expensive. So this is honestly this is not a paid sponsor. Yeah. at all but i want to give a huge shout out just, to just a shout out man they're great because really great honestly two weeks ago i didn't know how we were going to start this i didn't either i was struggling between so many podcasting websites because they all looked oh like this looks good but yeah, it, yeah. but then i settled on bus route right. because it's like what 17 a month yeah and you, they give you a website they give you a like a six hour allowance oh. of podcast clips. They give you the option to distribute to like every single major sh podcast platform. They give it all to you for seventeen a month. That's pretty dang good. So not I'm gonna a give, shout out by the way. I'm gonna give them a couple claps. <laughs> not a shout out. Not a shout out. No, this is a shout out, but it's not a sponsor. Oh, not a sponsor. Yeah. All right. Can yeah. we like get back to the story? I'm sorry, dude. I like, just wanted uh, to give this thanks. guy, man. Once again. I'm just trying to give thanks all right, all because right, thanks. We really do, by the way. Appreciate it. Appreciate, I also appreciate you guys. Yeah, of course. I want to be I want to be known as the guy that's nice. Chris is the mean guy, everybody. Hate on Chris. <laughs> yeah, there's no I, I think I'm pretty nice. I'm a chill, I'm just chill guy. Chill guy. All jokes. If all you jokes. guys remember the first episode, which is technically a trailer, yeah. all jokes like, around here. All jokes. Please, all jokes. All jokes? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> all jokes. All right. Continue with the story. Anyway, back to this double date. Um so we're late. Me and Jane are running late. Yeah. I'm upset. I'm low-key raising my voice a little bit because I'm getting upset. He was a bad guy back then. Okay, I wasn't like... Okay, <laughs> well, okay. okay. come on. Calm all down. Right, all right, all right. That's another day. Another day, another day. We'll talk about that. I was a little upset. I'm like, Jane, are you for real? And she's, and she's like, oh my God, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't realize. <laughs> okay. And yeah, we finally make us the bowling alley. Making five U turns, not even joking, five U turns. And uh, <laughs> what's up, Nate? Five U turns, and we finally make us the bowling alley. And uh, we meet Chris and uh, his girl, Stacy. Stacy. Um, and uh, we walk into the bowling alley, and, and the vibes uh, are already off. By the way. Yeah, I think did you go did y'all get in the argument before that too, before we got there? Uh yeah, she wasn't really talking to me. So we it was bad. Bad day. Bad day. 
I'm really bad name. So the vibes are already off, but it's already too late. We're already at the bowling alley. We already yeah. have money from our parents to pay for this. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we had no <laughs> jobs. <laughs> our parents came. Dude, shout out mom and dad, by the way. Another shout out. Another mom shout and dad. Out. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, uh. <laughs> All right, continue. All right, so we walk in this bowling alley, and there's a bouncer. This bouncer luckily lets us through. I don't think we're even supposed to be in there. No, we it was were... supposed to be, like, at a certain time. I think we went there, like, past 6 p.m. You have to have, like, a guy that's 18 or older. An adult, but... Yeah, an adult. They looked old, so they, they, me and Chris look semi-young, yeah. but Jane and Stacy were... Stacy looked pretty, like, yeah, so she's got it. Yeah. Pretty, really good. So we're... Anyway, we roll in here. And we have to buy our shoes, you know, the whole yep. spiel. And there's another fiasco. I don't know what size shoe I wear in bowling shoes. <sighs> like, how do you not? Do you ever go bowling? <laughs> like, come on. So they're struggling to figure out what size shoe. They're yep. swapping at least five times. Me and Crystal's looking at each other. We're, we're yeah, like, we're dude, ready. Like, like, come on. We already have our shoes. We're getting our ball. Like, I'm obviously like rocking a 10 yeah. because I'm a strong dude. I can, I can handle a size 10. Or a, a weight 10 ball. 10s are easy, though. I use like a 13. Dude, we were small back then. Yeah, you're right. you're right. So, we get the balls. And... <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry, dude. All right, go. We get the balls. We get our lane. I think we're lane huh? 13 or something. And uh, we start bowling. And I hate ragging on Jane. But she does not know how to bowl, dude. Same with Stacy. Oh, my Lord. It was awful. I was winning, by the way. I'm, I'm a great bowler. Yeah, Chris just slammed us. He, he got like 160. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else was like below 100 by yeah, it far. Was, it was bad. Didn't we play laser tag? I think we did. Maybe. Yeah, but it wasn't after we noticed that yeah. Jane walked like Michael Myers. <laughs> yes, she did. Like, I'm scary. talking feet together. Just imagine Michael Myers trying to bowl. <laughs> and that is Jane yeah. for y'all. And she barely threw it, too. It was so heavy for her. I come yeah, on. yeah. Like she had the side, like the three ball. Yeah. And uh, it looked like I was using a 20 ball. Yeah. For reference. It's like a toddler trying to pick up a, like no hate on her. Like she's cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I hope now we'll see. Uh, no hate though. No Jane. hate though. Hope this was hope just at right. a time in our lives when we were kids and it's okay to make fun of our lives as kids because yeah. Everyone's a kid. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone looks goofy at some point in their life. Yeah. I've looked goofy plenty of times. Oh, I didn't me, really know how to bowl that much either. Yeah. I was actually pretty garbage. I mean, I was hitting the gutter ball every time. And I was actually getting mad. Yeah. I was like, dude, I <laughs> he was mad. He was mad every time. I'm not going to lie. I, 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 I used to bowl a little bit back then. So I just, I was freaking chill. nerd. Yeah. You're a little nerd. I'm, I'm competitive, man. Okay. My dad literally got like 300 points one time at a bowling alley. Yeah, but you didn't. <laughs> like, come on, man. Obviously, my bowling skills are passed on uh, my other siblings. I hope they're good. Actually, I don't know. Gavin's not very good at bowling. Yeah, we should take a bowling one day. Be cool. Hey, me, you, your brother, my brother. Oh. Bowling. Yeah. Brother v. Brother. That could be pretty fun. Could be too. That'd be cool. Yeah, y'all are going to win, though. You and your brother play sports. I've yeah. never Ryan's, played this. Ryan's better than me at bowling, by the way. He's actually good. Yep. Nope. Well, I'm not going. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not losing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. not going there to lose. I'm not I love winning. I hate losing. 25 bucks to lose. Yeah. But yeah, we're at the bowling alley. We end up playing laser tag. Yeah. Another 15 bucks to our parents' hard-earned money gone. <laughs> yeah. And then we did some arcade things, and we finally got tired. We, we're even that, we weren't like there that long. We were there for an hour because yep. the vibes were off. Yeah. I mean, I was barely even talking to Jane. Yeah, and uh, Stacy was really mad at me. So me, me and Chris Lee went to the bathroom and we're yeah. just talking. We're like, dude, why are we here? Like, should we yeah. leave? <sighs> we had to leave. I think, yeah, we did leave. And uh, yeah, so the funny thing is, um, like a couple months before this double date, huh? I had gone to the bowling alley with you and our other friends. Oh, yeah, that's right. And me and Jane had our first kiss. So the bowling alley should have been a very special, special first kiss, a very special place for us. Yeah. But it wasn't because I don't even know why. Like, why did it suck? I'm telling you, the vibes are off when you guys are late. Yeah, like it's just one yeah. of those things, dude. Where, uh, <laughs> dude, Nate is over there trying He's to sleep, done. and we're waking him up yeah. with our loud talking. But yeah, it was just not a good night at all for both of us. It really wasn't. And it didn't get any better. Actually, I would say it did get better. We decided to go to Taco Bell. Oh, yeah. 
Beach in deep Columbia. And let me tell you, it did not get easier with Jane and Stacy. They could not make up their minds what yeah. food they wanted. And guess what? I felt bad for the guy that was taking our order, by the way. We took so long. I decided to order, what are they called? Cin- cinnamon twists. Cinnamon, yeah, cinnamon twist. And I didn't know that they came in bags with five of them. Five of them. So, me being a big brained individual, I order 13. <laughs> 13. 13 packs. The man on the mic said, Do you. Re- <laughs> He really asked. He, he was like this. Do you really want 13? Yeah. I was like, yeah, dude. Like, why not? It's like, just why not, dude? We're going to in- eat them all. It's like, it's 13 individual cinnamon twists. Yeah. Let me tell y'all, we went to pay. They were not, they're like 20 bucks for those. Yeah. They give us a bag. We're thinking it's our food. This <laughs> full bag of Taco Bell is just cinnamon Twist. twists. A full there, bag of them. There was at least 150 it, it was a big bag, too. It was pretty big. They probably thought we were some crackheads. I'm not going to. Yeah. And we did not, in fact, eat them all. I ate one, and I was like, I these are not even zero, that good. And I they weren't even like, that yeah, good. They really were. I don't know. Why, why'd you get so many? Dude, I thought they were, like, individually wrapped. Yeah. Oh, look how that turned out. Yeah, and they weren't individually wrapped at all. Yeah, you're right. They had uh, five in each of them. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so... That happened. But, uh, yeah, um, I don't know if y'all can tell, but me and Chris are not together with uh, Jane and Stacy anymore. Uh, yeah. We are not couples anymore. Duo couples, so there's no more double dates. No more. Um, that's a story for another day. That's another yeah. tragic, the tragic downfall. <laughs> <laughs> both, both of these relationships lasted a year. <laughs> this TV, dude. dude. <laughs> We're back. We're back. Sorry for that minor inconvenience. But uh, yeah, we're going to probably end this podcast right here with this big, huge ending. Um, A little recap for y'all. If y'all missed the past 39 minutes. 39 minutes. It's a long one, boys. Um, yes. So I tested my childhood best friend Lester with his super strength Mr. Hulk man yep Christopher car got, crash got into a car accident almost got jumped by an old man that was buff yeah that was kind of scary yeah. yeah it was um a fun double date not fun but yeah <laughs> so much fun dude. so much so much but yeah uh, you know where to catch us every Tuesday follow every Tuesday. our socials by the way you're not serious right on everything. And uh stay, stay serious. serious. <laughs>